Hello friends, what's Failure here and welcome to a new episode of the Saxo Bank Let's Play and I just want to start this episode off by showing how glad the sponsors was from the last uh, result that we got and you can see that's like a check that's a check, no, I check, what is that called? Why can I not remember what that's called, sorry but Hayeru got first in points ranking and they're really happy about that you can see the fact that he also got top 3 into it and under there, even more happy about that and also the fact that Casper Cluster got was first in the Climber ra ranking, that's just, it's great and they were also happy about that we brought Juan Jose Hayeru to the race that, that meant a lot to the sponsors, which is Saxo Bank, a Danish sponsor so I don't get why they say this, oh fuck, where is it? Uh, where can you see that? Uh, somewhere you can see like, squad that is uh, we need more from Italy. We need more from Ukraine. It's so stupid that a Danish, a Danish bank would say, "Nope, we need some from Ukraine. Ukraine is a really important country to our money." What the fuck? Well, in this in this episode, we'll be playing the Etoile de Bessec stage, a French stage, and I think I'm gonna go for the points because they're more po for the points too, because they're more points then there are then there are um, hilly stages so I'll go for the hilly stages uh, what did I just I fucked up there sorry you know the fact when you say a word and you just instantly say it after the word you just said it's it's bad well I think I'll bring I'll probably bring uh, Jonas Ain to try and win with a Danish guy let's do that he has also a decent time trial so he can keep the yellow jersey if he can keep it to the time trial so I'll set up the team and see you in the race and so you can also see that oh now we're within the 20 kilometers mark you can see that I brought these riders I brought two Polish riders, I bought an Italian rider, I brought two Danish riders and I brought a Spanish rider and the reason why I brought these, brought these two Poland riders because they're really good, they're upcoming and I think they can win in the break like someday or sometime or somehow they will win in the break and Micah was third on, the, on that category too so that's not the best best option but it's still third it's still still points points matters so whatever we need to we need to find a good wheel oh i don't trust casper i don't trust jimmy casper and i don't trust the breakaway to hold actually so it's come on Jonsen, get on get on that wheel it would mean a lot to me if you can get at the wheel even though i know it won't work <laughs> yeah krupis is good he's he used to be the he used to be the rider what's it called he's used to be the lit litown litownish Champion. Oh, can we get Swift this wheel? That would be. Fuck you, Limerville. Fuck you, Limerville. Well, I I'm just gonna relax with Micah because I know the breakaway won't hold. Come on. Just get into the lift now. Get into the lift. That's what matters. If you can get uh, Swift wheel, you have a good chance of winning. Now Fletcher is going to the front. Oh, they're setting up the sprint train. They're setting up the sprint train. Come on, get up there now. Get up there now. Get that wheel. Get that wheel. Get that wheel. Come on. It seems like that wheel is dumb. It doesn't really work that wheel anymore. What is he doing? He's like derping pretty hard. So now move. Oh my god, this takes a lot of energy. Come on, move upward a bit, please. Just a bit, please. And you're destroying Jonsen. Why is this pace destroying Jonsen? Why are they setting such a high pace? It makes. Oh, now, now they're starting to move up. Well, I don't believe we'll win this stage, though. That's definitely one thing. Oh, come on, Jansen. We st I believe in you. Oh, what the... Oh, he just lost his... Oh, that was his leader, man. No, it wasn't. Sudan is his leader, man. Come on. Jimmy Kasper is looking awesomely, but we know Kasper. He's the Viviani of, of this race. Come on, follow Swift's wheel. Follow Swift wheel. Start to sprint, Swift. Start to sprint. Start to split any time, thanks. But now Jonsen's dead. So well this was kind of a disappointment. Jonsen got no well, let's see in the front. It's gonna be between William Bonnet and Jimmy Casper. It's gonna be close. Now Swift is coming on the outside. Oh inside, sorry. Oh, now it's an outside. And now who's that? That's Gus. Matthew Gus is coming as well. But Swift won in front of Gus, in front of Bonnet, and then in front of Stiegmans, in front of Hondo, and then in front of Casper. And Jonsen was nowhere. And Sewlake was in the race, he did nothing. But Well, we just have to come back another time with Jonsen. He, I know we can win this race, but it's just, it's really, really hard, and he can win it. I'm, I'm almost pretty sure that he can win a stage, but it's just the fact that against Ben Swift, against Sioli, against Matthew Goss, you're not really going to have the greatest chance of winning, but I'll come
And now we have the second stage of eat all the percentages, and I'll try to attack with Micah again to win the Martin's jersey. My goal for this race is to win a stage or win the Martin's jersey, either of those and my race is saved. I'm trying to play this very realistically, I don't want to use my best riders in the start and just use all that, I want to play Pro Cycle Manager realistically, so I'm using my, like, my backup players at the moment just to get them in form and use my riders later on so when the Tour de France is on I'm going to be epic. So. I want to start this race off. I want to attack with Micah and see if Jonsson can do anything in the end. If he cannot, well, well played. And now we are here. So, what happened today is that a breakaway got away and Micah was in it. He was second in the first one, I think. No, he, he won it actually. He won. He was second in the last one, sorry. Second in the last one, first in the first. So well, that's definitely good. That's, that's good. Now he has... How many points does he have? He has... Uh, yeah, I don't want to do the math, sorry. <laughs> um, it's, it's so late at night, I'm trying to record a bunch at the same time. He should actually just... Why is he moving forward? Well, what happened today was that four-man breakaway got away and they couldn't really agree on it, so they got caught around two, uh, this character two, and I attacked again and I got the points. And then here we had another seven-man breakaway before Micah fall off. And now this is what is left. There's not really no one really to mention that much, like there's no one that good. And can we come spin now? Oh, okay, we need to find oh Honda's good. Honda's good. We need to find someone who's like decent in everything, because if you follow a guy who's like sitting in the front all the way through, like last stage, you'll just like fall ten minutes behind because you're so tired. Oh, stop it! Oh, maybe we can get Ben, Sw ben Swift's wheel. Come on, and uh, because he's setting such a high pace, we lost all our energy again. Oh, I like this line in front of your Honda, then Gus, then Swift, then Jonsson. <laughs> If Honda was clever, did not care about his chances, he should just put it himself on zero effort and just whoop, fall behind. But he doesn't want to do that. So in the, in the front at the moment, we only have Divaldo from Landbrugger credit, so... It's not really big chances of him surviving to the end, or just surviving, yes, he will survive. I will survive, but it's not really big chances of him to get, like, victory on the stage. Like the the oh my fuck! 76 riders crashed! Whoa! So many guys crashed! So many guys crashed! Holy moly! Can you get on Gus's wheel? Doesn't shouldn't really take that much effort. Oh, it seems like it will do. Okay, all this. Well, Jonsson is, is like no powers at all. Oh, <laughs> well at least so many riders fell behind. Holy shit! We only 110 guys left in the in the polter. Oh, at this rate, we're getting power back. We're getting power back. The red is what matters in a sprint. Come on, just get half. Just get half before the final sprint is off. Oh, this sprint. What the? What the fuck? Go on, guys. Go on, guys. This wheel. Come on. Come on. Who's in the front? Kasper in the front. Yeah, I understand that with so many. F okay, so Janssen was nothing. Hinault and Kasper is trying to sprint, but now Honda's coming first. Swift is on the inside. Swift is all and Swift is gonna win the stage in front of Honda. And now on the outside, who's that? Seelig is coming really fast. Is he gonna get second? Nope, he's gonna get third. And Sargent couldn't do anything this stage. He was just destroyed. But so many riders fell behind. So many riders crashed. That was an exciting stage. So many guys crashed, and I'm now in leader of the climber jersey, so everything is going according to plan at the moment. We just need to win a stage. And yeah, there's no way Janssen can follow that the pace. It's just too high at the moment. So the third stage of the Italy DB Sense stage race is also another chance for Jonas Ayn. But he hasn't really proven to be that good, so I don't know what to do. I want to see how many points are there on the line. Uh, ranking, mountain ranking, 24. Oh, that's not the right one. Oh, uh, well, this is the right one, it seems like. 24 we have, and how many points are on the line today? Oh, bonus, that is the one. 16, 16, 16. <laughs> oh, I want to go in the break with one of my other riders, to so see if I can get that. So, we're within the 20 kilometer mark again, and it seems like... Ma ah, Bora's day is over. He's done a great job, he won all three mountain sprints and he's been alone in the break or he was with five other guys but he was driving alone so well done by him. I have to say that, that's well done by him. I could not have done it better myself. But we have one, one, one really big problem though. Jonas Ayn Johansson is minus five on the day. 
<laughs> he cannot keep up at all. And by the way, one thing about Bora, he has 79 prologue and 75 tra time trial, so he can maybe do something on the last day. If you want someone to win wins the day, I'm totally mind boggled because he has minus five on the day, and the day where he has like plus three, he cannot do anything. Why should he do something on minus five? But we're still riding for him because he's the captain. We show, we show trust in our captain. Oh, it's more faults, more faults. Is there anyone good? I can only see you in the sh <laughs> shooter twice. He's falling behind twice. Oh, okay, we have a rope motorcycle. Come on, we can we can do this. Today you don't seem to be having this, that big of a problem like yesterday. Or oh, last stage. Come on. Come on, Janssen. Make... Holy sh... What happened there? What happened? Suddenly we just fell like 10 hours behind. We're finally doing good and we're just falling behind. Oh, that's typical. Come on, we're getting up there. We're getting up now. But now we have a rogue vehicle in the way. Rogue vehicles are so overpowered as fuck. Oh, this is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt. But now we're just driving full players, that's also normal. That's quite normal, that happens every day. That's like my normal daily routine. Oh, Jürgen Rolands! Come on, sprint! Why is he not sprinting? Come on, Jürgen Rolands coming fast, but when Swift is coming faster, well, can he not beat Swift on the line? Oh, Swift! <laughs> look at who won, look at who won, and look at who celebrated. Look at who won, and who celebrated. I got that on video. And I got- Oh fuck, oh, it's me. And he even celebrated! The teammate even celebrated and they didn't win! What? What the f- What the fuck? What the fuck? They just, like, took another way, like, Oh, we're not done yet, we have another route! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that was the most strange stage I've ever tried. <laughs> what the fuck? I wanna say that people- Like, he knows, I won the- Oh, comment! I lost, and even the teammate got confused by that. <laughs> That's probably the most fun stage I've played in a long, 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 long time. What the fuck? <laughs> Try to take a look. Try to take a look at Hinault. He's celebrating. Oh, there he is. I won! And look at the teammate. I won! But when we look at the podiums, Ben Swift kind of won. <laughs> That's so hilarious. <laughs> Oh, Ben Swift is taking 48 seconds by winning three three stages in a row. That's great by that guy. He's doing awesomely. And he's also leading the sprinter classification. But the mountains classification! We are first and we are fourth. So we have two guys we can play out in the mountain stages. Or mountain hilly stages, sorry. This is our goal now. Or this or um, our stage win. I told you that before. Well, thanks for watching this stage. I'll come back next stage. And now the fourth stage of the Etoile de Bersinge. And can this stage be as epic as the last stage? Let's take a look. So, 20 kilometers left, and we managed to hit the breakaway with Marjorie. Ah, I cannot even say his name, he's Polish. Uh, so we have 1 minute and 30 seconds down to the Peloton. It's going to be exciting to see how we can do in the end. And I actually think this might hold. The breakaway might hold, actually. Um, in the breakaway, we have Arishiro, Peters, and Gerard, and Neolink. Some, some strong guys in the sprint, especially Arishiro. Arishiro is a strong sprinter, so I need to be careful of him. But today the stage was just a normal stage, go in the break, and there was one guy who was a threat to the Martian Jersey, so I had to join it, and Pat Colon, one, two, I think, I, I just want to check a look if it works now, it did not work when I last checked, no it does not. Well, he, he won two before, and that, and I won one, and just took most of his points away, so that's good. Well, I kind of want to, when we get under one minute, I kind of want to attack just to make sure that they do not get that much time. We, ne we need to find a good wheel with Johnson now. Can we get that wheel? Oh no, we can't. Well, now we're under one minute. I should probably attack now just to set up the pace. Under one, under 50 seconds, under 50 seconds. Under 50 seconds, come on. Attack. Can, who will follow? Who has the power to follow? Are sure does not have the power to follow? Neuralink has the power to follow. But we just need to be careful as well with Johnson. So if we can find someone to go on. Soonish. Well, let's look at how it is in the front. We have 55 seconds still. 45 seconds still. Come on, we just need to be setting up the pace. Oh, ooh, is that the crash? Like Steen, Seulek crashed, but Borat did not crash. A lot more guys crashed. But Seulek crashed, that's one of the favorites for the stage crashed. The stage. Go on, Hinault, the big, fa the big failure. Go on, that guy. 
Well, it seems like this was the end. It seems like that was the end for the breakaway now. They cannot really do anything more now. Like, I can try to attack with Max, but he will get nowhere. Good work, dude. Good work. I think you hold his uh, yellow jersey. My oh, yellow jersey. I think the mountain jersey. Uh, we can thank Mars Marish for that. Come on, let's go on Hinald. The the failure from last day on last stage. He really fucked up, didn't he? Like, yes, I won. Oh fuck, I didn't. And he was even the leader man. So I just think he was so happy that he finally got a good chance of winning, and he just fucked up that hard. Well, uh, Swift is falling behind. Where's Swift? Swift is falling behind. We can win this now. We have a good chance. You're plus three on the day. You have 79 sprint, 78 acceleration. Come on, come on, Jonsen. Okay, but Thu has withdrawn. Come on. Who's that behind now? It's uh, Hernandez. It's good enough. It's good enough. Now they start to sprinting. They're starting to sprint. Come on, start to sprint, Casper. Start to sprint. Start to sprint. It really matters if you start to sprint anytime soon. Well, we'll just go ourselves then. We'll just go ourselves. Come on, Jensen. Come on, Jensen. You can beat them. You can beat them, Jensen. You can save our uh, Etoldi Bestor or something. Come on. You can save it. You can save it. Come on. You can save it. You can save it. Nope. He'll not. He'll not beat anyone. But he will get top 10. That's good enough. And Sudan's gonna win in front of Kasper. Kasper saved his powers way too- Oh, can it be like that yesterday when he won? No, Sudan won. And we got fifth! We even beat Ben Swift with Jonas Ain. I'm proud of that. And CLA crashed. That's such a- That's such a- uh, What should I say? It's, it's such a pity for him that he crashed. Like, there's nothing really- When you crash, you crash. That's just a pity. So, well- He's not really having the best stage race of his life. And who is that? Sheen? I think that's how you say a French name, like Sheen Luc de Puck. Something like that. But well done, Christopher Sutton. You can sprint now that Ben Swift couldn't. So <laughs> they still have won all the stages. Like Sky won all the stages so far. Congratulations to them. And now I think we have three stages left. It's gonna be exciting to see what's gonna happen. So we're now at the fifth stage of the Tall Deep Ascentures, and they say this is the hardest stage. I don't think this stage is going to decide that much, because this hill is so far out, so if the sprinters can come over it, I don't think it will matter that much, but I think it will do that a, a, a break will maybe win the stage, because that can maybe break the peloton pretty hard. So let's see what's going to happen. I'll probably go on the break with Hernandez. So we're within the 20 km mark, and this stage was so short that nothing really happened. I have to be honest with that, nothing really happened in this stage, so... And... Oh, and Jonsson's over the mountain, so that's really good for him. And we are still taking time on the peloton. So let's see if we can keep this. We're still gaining some time on the peloton, actually, so... Everything is quite dandy. 80 se Yeah, we're still gaining some time. We're still gaining a bit of time. Oh, who's that attacking? You see Gary's attacking again. I don't get why they attack. Oh, it's because it's kind of uphill again. It's Ben... Oh, Ben Swift is attacking! It's now or never, it's now or never, it's now or never. Come on, can't attack that guy, can't attack that guy. It's now or never. Come on, how... Oh, we actually have one minute in the breakaway. That's good. Oh, fuck. Well, the yellow jersey's getting away now, and it doesn't seem like Johnson's able to follow anymore. There are just 10 kilometers left. Okay, now I'm still I'm still the only one pulling the pull, uh, the breakaway. And that's because I need to try to break these guys. Oh, is Jürgen van der Brugge up here? No, it's, oh, it's back, sorry. Sorry, it's back. It's back. Should have known that. Break away uh, at the well, that, oh, what? Why are these sprinters attacking? It makes no sense. Well, we're getting nowhere. So just sit tight, and now the yellow jersey is caught. What about the front? What about the front? Come on, 40 seconds. It's time to maybe attack soon. F it seems like the breakaway might hold in this one. Can we counter sprint Swift? I want to counter sprint Swift. This will. Come on, Hernandez. You will save our. Race, if you can get away now, you'll save our race, you can get away, come on. Come on, Hernandez, get away with back. And off he goes. He's giving it one last go. How is Ben Swift doing? Holy shit, Ben Swift is power. Oh, last bag and him is off. Last bag is gonna be a duel between last bag and Hernandez. It's gonna be a duel between Hernandez and Bag. Come on. Oh, how is Ben Swift and those guys doing? They're doing lovely, come on. It's gonna be a battle between these two. Come on, Hernandez, you have a chance of saving our... Our lead. Oh no, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming fast. Oh, they're coming really, really fast. I do not like this. Well, look at this this way. We could not have won in the sprint anyway, so... We needed to try go now, so... Well, we did not win this, but we're still... Doing quite good. Come on, come on! Come on, Jensen. I want to see who's going to win this even. It's going to be... Pichon... Well, we... 
Me and Les Bag, we both realized that we could not win in this sprint, so we need to do this now. The group is slowly thinning out due to such a frantic pace. Come on, can we catch the... Catch the... We, we are all holding Ben Swift. Come on. Come on, Jans. Oh, Dilla, please, you dick. Well, could curl one in front of him, broke one in front of Pichot, and as you see, both me and Las Bag had the same idea. We needed to attack. There's no way we can win a sprint. Because look at that, it's 74. Oh, God, that one was actually 62. 70 and 75. We're actually sprint. beating but Swift, we're beating but Swift, whoa, we got 7th, I'm proud of that, so if that had been a sprint, we would have won that. <laughs> that brings, oh, well, we took time on all the others, so that's kind of, that's kind of good enough. I'm just happy we beat Ben Swift. Oh, I think we actually got a top 10 by doing that. So we got 5th and 7th, that's good thinking that we like use this bad of riders. Let's look at how we did. Uh, yeah, two Danish guys in top ten. That's lovely. So now Quackle is in, is in yellow. What the fuck? And we're not even in top ten. No, you're you're not in. But Las Bag is in top ten. But Quackle, oh, how you say that name? Now Ben Swift needs to go out and win his yellow jersey back. How are we doing in the mountain? We're still leading. Good. So that, we won the mountain jersey, I think. It's lovely that we won it. So now we'll see you at the, what is that, time trial. And we're now at the last stage of It's All Deep Ascentures. And this stage is going to do it all. This stage is going to be important. I want to see if I can win it with Boraro. This guy needs to do something. But at least my my race is safe. We have the mountain jersey with Boraro. So we're going to see him in the mountain jersey. Does this stage even give, I think it gives points. No, it doesn't. Well, see you in the race. So we now we have Hernandez on the on the road now. Two kilometers left, and he's at the moment 42nd. And you may look at the thing and say, "Oh, why is he having more green than blue?" But I thought about that, and I've I want to set the power up here, so I save some of the energy. Oh fuck, this is going way too fast. I save some of the energy in the flat, so just to see if I could use it up upwards instead. But this is way too hard for pace. Come on, Hernandez. Get away, you're getting caught by Keller. How did he do? For 31st. That's not bad, that's not bad. That's not bad. Come on, we can do something. So I'm gonna start recording a bit further out with Barraro. He is at the moment 7th, but I think he can do good. I just need to save some of the green because that hill takes a lot of effort. So staying on 17 might be a good idea. Let's see how it's gonna turn out. Come on, Barrow. Holy shit, Christensen's having a hard time. Come on, Barrow. Now the climb is gonna start. Now you're gonna lose a lot of green, right? Yeah. He's losing a lot of greens. But it's good, it's good, it's good. It seems like it's gonna fit perfectly for him. He's catching some guy in the front. Oh, he was almost catching Tatolia. And we're first at this. Oh, we are at the moment first. That's awesome, Lee. That's awesome. And we need to. What the f. He's not having the day of his life. Well, he needs to be, he needs to relax a bit, Mas Christensen. You're gonna be destroyed upwards. Like, look at this now. He's just gonna be totally destroyed, though. Is he getting caught? Yeah, a bit. And he's actually quite good in time trial, though. That's a shame. How did he do? He came 14th. That's not bad. But we are first at the moment, with 23 seconds down to Michel Dogger. I'm proud of Borra. I'm proud of him. A stage win is epic if we could get that, that's really good. So we now have two other guys in the field as well, Micah and Maric. The two almost brothers in my opinion because their names are so close to each other. But let's see what they can do. Maric has plus 4 on the day, that's quite good. And Micah, he was 78 at the first time trial, the first point. And Maric was 40, 46th. Come on Micah, do something good, do something epic. We know you, you, we know you can do it. Are you getting caught a bit? No, you're actually ca you're catching the guy in the front, but now you're losing a bit. Come on, Micah, what did you do? I saw he came fourth. He's fourth. That's awesome. What about Marish? Come on, Marish. You're having plus four in the day. That mean must mean something to you. We can go up a bit, actually. What? I cannot see how much that is. Oh, that's the wrong one. I'm turning up. Oh fuck. He could have done a lot better. He could have done a lot, lot better. I could have won it with Mike as well. 
I was turning up on my ca- Oh, fuck. That's bad. He came third. If I just- Oh, I could have won it with him. If I'm gonna lose the stage, I'm gonna be annoyed. So, apparently Manuel Bora has driving very, very, very fast. He's been driving incredibly fast. He's taking a lot of time on that little hill. Well, let's see if Janssen can do that as well. He's 17th in the, in the GC at the moment. Can he get like two or three positions? That would be awesome. But we beat guys like Bert Grabs, Andre de Malori and Van de Velde and S Sandy Gassar. That's really impressive. We can actually turn it up a bit, I think. Janssen's having a good day, though. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, Janssen. We all trust in you. In Janssen, we put our trust. Come on. Are you getting caught? You get not? Oh, you're not getting caught. Come on. That's not the best day for him. He's he lost 32 seconds to my, my Manuel Bora. I'm just gonna speed up so you can see the end. Oh, where's that? That's last back. Let's see what last back can do. Do not beat us, last back. Do not beat us. I'll be annoyed. Come on, last back, get up there. He is now at the time point. Okay, he's behind a bit. It's ben Swift. Oh, Kirkwell. Ben Swift and Kirkwell's on the field now. Let's see how's, how's it looking. We're still we're still winning the stage. When Swift is 20 seconds behind, Gorgel is 18 seconds behind. Can Ronald Bohr take the yellow jersey? No, I don't think so. I think he's too far behind. He's like 9 minutes behind. <laughs> how's it looking? He finished 43 seconds behind. Oh, I don't know. Well, we won the stage. That's really awesome. We won the stage with 9 seconds to Bohr grabs. <laughs> well, we both got the Mountain jersey and the yellow jersey. That's just perfect. And Quirkle won it. Won it. That's nice by him. I actually think if I did not go on the breakaway bow arrow, I could have won it with him in the end. But whatever. I'm proud of how he did. I'm proud of winning a stage. And we both got the stage win and the mountain jersey and the same guy. That's awesome. That's really... I love that. I love that. Well, this was a successful stage race. We really did good. And we won the overall team classification with that team abroad. That's awesome. I'm really proud of this team. Thanks for watching this episode, uh, the stage, ah, the stage race, guys. Please, please leave a like, please leave a comment, please leave some love, because as you may uh, have written, written in the description, this is my last big masterpiece before I, go, before I go to the US, so just so you know that, there's only be like eight more, eight more episodes of this before I leave, so please, 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 please leave a like, please show some love, please just, it really does matter to me, because I'm gonna miss you guys while I go to the US, the big, big US. Thanks for watching this guys, see you guys.